Help support the companies that support our community. Though it busted the tenon in half and fell off the lathe and broke some chunks out of it. So I'm just going to level this back off and put it back on. We're going to have a smaller bowl, but hopefully it's just a beautiful piece of wood. So I don't want to scrap the whole thing.
I finished the bowl with Doctor's Walnut Oil. I also sand with this. It's a great way to capture all that fine dust when you're sanding. The vacuum chuck works great for things like bowls like this, bowls and platters. It's a great way to be able to finish, completely finish the bottom and when you pull it off, you're done. But it does leave a little ring where the suction was in the center there because it's pulling the, the oil out of it. So it leaves a little ring. So I just sanded that up with 400 and 600 to get rid of that little mark. There we go. It is, it's about 11 inches across and four and a half inches tall. Man, it is some tough wood. I was, uh, got beat up pretty bad on this one. So when it fell off the lane, I obviously didn't have the camera running, but I didn't even get a catch. It's just so heavy and it was off balance a little bit and it just snapped the tenon off inside the chuck and fell out. After I picked it up, I looked to see if you know, I got a, if there was a catch or anything and there was nothing, it just broke it. So I had to take off quite a bit of the bowl. It would have been about, you know, another inch and a half or two inches taller. I was kind of bummed about that, but really like the contrasting colors in it. And so when I flipped it around on the lathe to with the vacuum chuck, that is why I started cutting away at the bottom because I couldn't get it, or I I could have, but I didn't want to get it any deeper because it started cutting into the sapwood hair and I really like the way that looks. So I didn't want this all bare, bare sapwood. I wanted it like that. So when I flipped it around, that is why I went ahead and rounded over the bottom and took some of the material off that so it wasn't, wasn't so thick. I got this piece of wood from Allen when we were in Arizona in January. Thank you, Allen. It is beautiful. It's some heavy stuff. It's super dense, but it's just beautiful wood. Love the contrasting colors there. Thank you so much. Um, one other thing, I, uh, I, I'll put some pictures up at the end and I put it on the turntable too so you can see all of it. It's still got a little oily on it, but it's drying. Um, I'm doing a remote demo for the New Jersey Wood Turns Club here coming up uh, in a week or so and super excited about that with everything that's going on. Um, a lot of people are doing remote demos so that's going to be fun. Um, if you have a club and you want to uh, some information on it just I have my emails down in the description let me know it's a great way you don't even have to have a club meeting you can just log in from home so it's super cool and Bob Amarit is putting that all together and he also has a YouTube channel and I want to give him a shout out I'll put a link down below in the description to his channel and if you're a member of that club I'm really looking forward to the demo and we will see you in a couple weeks all right hope you enjoyed the video hope everybody stays and safe and we'll see you on the next one.